What's up guys, The Architect here back with another Revit Tools video. Today we'll be talking about the clipboard, which is right up here. Now the clipboard itself is uh, it's that imaginary, quote, clipboard that you can't see that holds all the things you copy and paste and cut and whatnot. And this applies to many things across different softwares, but also applies to Revit. Um, so I've got two different wall types here. I've got generic six inch wall and just wood stud two. And we'll be using those as an example. So the first tool here is just the basic cut to clipboard. And that can be done by using the control X option. And I believe if you're on a Mac, a command X. So I'm going to select these two walls and choose control X for cut and they're going to go away, they're going to be copied to the clipboard. And you'll know something's on your clipboard if you see this paste light up as if it were able to be used. So now you can actually paste that, and the paste is control V. And so, depending on the element, it will actually give you a, a placement. And so right now, it is, it's wanting to place it back where it was originally. So if I were to input zero, it's going to be placed exactly back where it was. Now that applies to certain elements like walls, for example. Um, so copy, control C. If I select these, I can hit control C. And then I have, again, the regular paste option. I can hit control V. And now I, I have the same option of moving this around, but maybe I want to move it, you know, 20 feet this way. And boom, there we go. Copied walls. I'm going to undo that with control Z. So that is the cut and copy command. So this is this is a very interesting one. It's the, called the match properties, and it, this is a general thing. If you're lost in Revit within a tool and you're not sure what to do, you can actually come down here to the bottom left, and it will tell you the next objective you're supposed to do or the next action you're supposed to take within that tool. You can see now it's telling us to select an object to copy its type. So we we've chosen the match type properties. So the idea of this tool is that it's going to allow us to choose a type of one object. So I'm going to choose this type of the wall and it's going to then tell me to choose the second type and what this will do is change it to that first type I selected. So now we can see I have that f that wall is wood stud 2 like it was before and this wall is now also wood stud 2. So that covers the cut to clipboard, copy to clipboard, and match type properties. So it, it, the paste option is actually pretty interesting because you have a drop down box. And the default action is just this paste, to cl paste from clipboard. Uh, but there are a lot of other ones that we can take advantage of here. So I'm going to, I'm going to choose these two walls. I'm going to hit Control C to copy them, and now we have different options to choose from. And the next one, align to select levels. This is just a different way of pasting what you have copied, cut to the clipboard. So now I have an option to choose uh, which level I want that to be pasted on. And it will be essentially pasted at the same place, just at a different level. So I'm going to choose level 2, and we'll see what happens. Now I get some overlap because of I have these, I don't have these walls connected up to just the level above, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. You can see I have this this base constraint level one, but I, I have an unconnected top height, so I'm going to choose level two, and we're going to see that these will connect nicely. And so if I were to choose these two walls now, I'm going to hit Control C, and I'm going to go to this paste option. I'm going to align the selected levels and choose level two. We can now see that those walls are now level two. So let's choose these walls, and I'm going to hit, again, Control-C to copy them to the clipboard. If we wanted to use a line in the same place, it, it's very self-explanatory, but again, I'm going to actually go into this floor plan view so you can see. I'm going to choose this wall, Control-C to copy the clipboard, go to Align to Same Place, and choose that. And I'll actually get this error that says I have walls overlapping. And I know that because I've copied the same wall on top of 
another wall of, which is the same in the same place. So I'm going to drag this one out just to show you there's that other wall there. So I'm going to get rid of that. Go back to my 3D view. Choose these two walls. I can hit Control Copy. And now we want to we want to align to current view. So actually for this, I'm going to delete these. I'm going to choose these two walls, hit Control Copy. So I don't have those walls on level two. So I'm going to go to level two. I'm actually going to turn this underlay off. So we don't see the level below. So I we don't see these two walls there. And then I'm going to hit Align to Current View. So in a way that was copying and pasting these two walls down here to the level above simply by going to the, the view associated with the level that I wanted them to be pasted on by choosing Align to Current View. So now I'm going to do the same thing. A lot of this is kind of doing the same thing in different ways depending on what you need, but I'm going to choose these two. I'm actually going to go to a south elevation. Actually, I'll go to a north elevation. And then I'm going to choose this wall. Hit Control C to copy to clipboard. And another way is to paste through a line to a pick level. So now I have this picking level option now and I'm going to actually hit level 2 and I'm going to the end result again is a copy of that wall from level 1 to level 2 going back to the 3D view you can see how that came together oh and also uh, looking at these paste options I've almost never used align to selected views because that's going to do just about the same thing so aligning to selected levels and in the same place as well um, I would say I use the general paste option and align to selected levels or maybe even align to current view the most uh, because I might be I might be selecting all of a type of furniture and copying that to the clipboard and then either going to another floor plan and aligning to the current view or simply choosing the align to a specific level I choose. So thanks for watching guys. That was the the clipboard and the different paste options. Um, definitely some comments if you have any questions or if there's something specific you'd like to, me to get to in the near future but we're just going to keep on going through the modify tab and work our way through the other Revit tools. But thanks guys so much.